Let's now talk about tolerance groups in SAP S4HANA Finance. We navigate to transaction code SPRO, sub-reference IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, document, tolerance groups, and here we can define the tolerance groups for our employees. Let's click on this one. And this is kind of the landing page of the tolerance groups. Before I start explaining the customizing, just one remark. So with those tolerance groups over here, we can determine the authorizations to post specific amounts for our accounting employees. So meaning that we can restrict employees to only post financial transactions up until a certain amount, grant discounts up until a certain amount and so on. So first of all, we would define the tolerance groups like this one over here, ZTES, and then we assign a company code to the tolerance group. In my example over here, you can see that those are all of my company codes. However, the tolerance group itself is blank, but this is fine. We just need to define here for each company code at least either a blank tolerance group or one with an ID. And the difference is that for the blank tolerance groups, they are assigned to all the employees automatically to whom we did not assign a specific tolerance group with an ID. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say we have the users A, B, C, D, E and F in our system. And we have one tolerance group called ABCD, which is assigned to company code 0001. This tolerance group over here, we assign to the users A, B, and C. The blank tolerance group, which is also assigned to company code 0001, will automatically be assigned to the remaining users D, E, and F, because they are not assigned to a specific tolerance group. Let's now double click on one of the entries to see the parameters we can store. Let's select this one. And here you can see the details for the tolerance group ZTES. First of all, there's a section called upper limits for posting procedures, where we have three parameters, amount per document type, which is set to 5,000 euro in this case. So this means that all the employees we assign this tolerance group to can only post financial transactions with a total value of up to 5,000 euro. So meaning that all the line items in total cannot be more than 5,000 euro. Otherwise, the posting of the financial transaction will not be permitted. And we will see this in action in a minute. Then we have here amount per open item account item, which is also set to 5000. So this is the maximum posting amount permitted per customer or vendor item for this user group. So we are talking about customer or vendor items here. The restriction does not apply to automatically created line items. For example, during payment settlements. And we have the parameter cash discount per line item, so 5% in this case. This means that per line item, we can grant up to 5% of the value of the line item as a cash discount. Say that we have a line item with a value of 100, then we can grant a cash discount of up until 5 euro. Then there is another section called permitted payment differences. Let's first of all talk about amount and percent over here, which we can define for both the revenue and the expense. So the value you can see over here, the 100 euro in both cases, this is the amount up unto which payment differences to our advantage are allowed. And this one over here is the amount up to which payment differences to our disadvantage are allowed. And the amount, the 100, always refers to the local currency. So the currency of our company code. So meaning that in the case of a revenue, the system would always automatically post payment differences up until 100 euro as a profit. And also for the expense, on the other hand, the system would automatically post payment differences up to the amount of 100 as a reduction in profit. But as you may have noticed, there's also a percentage field over here. Let me give you a small example. Let's say for the revenue side, we have an absolute value of 100, as it is the case over here, and the percent was set to 10, as you can see over here. So for cash receipts up until 1000 euro, we would accept an overpayment of up until 100 euro. So here the 10% is taken into account. So we would accept anything between zero and 100 euro. For payments above 1000 euro, we accept an overpayment of up until 100 euro. But this time the system looks at the amount column. So the total or the absolute value of 100 over here. This means if we receive 1500 euro, we would not accept overpayments of 150 euro according to our defined 10% rate over here but we would only have the 100 euro defined as the absolute amount. And then there is here the third column called maximum cash discount adjustment for gains from payment differences. So when clearing payments, 
and payment differences up to the amount specified here are corrected with the cash discount postings as long as the cash discount amount is large enough for the adjustment. So the value that we specify here is used for differences that represent either revenues or expenses. Next off we go back and back again and then we click on assign user tolerance groups and here you can see for one of my dummy users I assigned the tolerance group ZTES. Let's now log on with the dummy user to see this in action. So in my subsystem I navigate to transaction code FB60 but you could also do it in Fiori. Insert a company code, then some mandatory information, a general ledger account and then an amount, let's say 5500. If you recall, we assigned this user here to a tolerance group where we defined that the total document cannot have an amount over 5000 euro. Otherwise, the posting of the document will not be permitted for this user. So let's click enter and we can already see the error message. You may only enter amounts up to 5000 euro. The same you will also find if this user exceeds certain cash discounts and also you will find those kind of messages if the over or under payment is too large. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.